Should Midnight's win the Album of the Year Grammy? That is the question we're going to be diving into today in this video. My name is Liv. I talk about all things pop culture and right now we're talking about Taylor Swift. We are going to be talking about the upcoming Grammys and whether or not Midnight should win the Album of the Year award or if it should go to one of the other amazing nominees. That has been a question that has been on my mind so much. And while I think the popular answer with some among some crowds would be that yes, she should win Album of the Year, I would say no. That's not to say that Midnight's hasn't had a lot of success. It's obviously been a huge chart topper. Anti Hero Alone spent about 50 weeks on the Hot 100 chart. The album received a ton of attention, especially during the Ares tour last year on social media. And when it comes to Taylor Swift, she has such a high level of fame that there is almost this expectation that she will win awards that she's nominated for, even big awards like the Album of the Year Grammy that is so coveted and so hard to win, even amongst really big stars like Beyonce and Adele. Taylor has already won this award several times with three albums, Fearless, 1989, and Folklore. And in addition to that, in her Beyonce level fame, I would say that there is this big expectation that she will win it again, which would be a huge deal because not only would she be the only woman, but she would be the only person to have ever won Album of the Year four times. This year's nominee list is really stacked. I think sometimes there will be a few big hits, but there are so many incredible artists on the nominee list for this award this year. There are people like my personal favorites, like Guts by Olivia Rodrigo, and Did You Know That There Is a Tunnel Under Option Boulevard by Lena Del Rey. There's also World Music Radio by John Batiste, The Record by Boy Genius, who I also am a big fan of, Endless Summer Vacation by Miley Cyrus, The Age of Pleasure by Janelle Monet, and of course, Midnight's by Taylor Swift. The album, in my opinion, that is the biggest competition against Midnight's is Guts by Olivia Rodrigo which is interesting because those two have sort of reached this level where they are both these huge stars that are starting to compete with each other a lot. Guts has this factor that, in my opinion, you really need to win Album of the Year, which is really having this big moment both on and offline and really making a strong statement and sending a strong message. Guts had a huge moment on social media when it released and well after when tons of people were posting on platforms like TikTok about how they related to the music. That's the album had slow uh, anthems like Vampire and it was really built in a way that was very cohesive and told a great story from beginning to end. Like Midnight, this album had a lot of success on the charts. Every single song on the album was on top of the charts for quite some time and we saw this success again also on platforms like TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and YouTube where people were making videos about how they resonated with the music and also just lip syncing and having a good time. In comparison I would say that the message of Midnight's sometimes felt like an unfinished thought. To me Midnight's felt similar to Lover where it seemed like it was on track to one thing and then it was kind of not completely done and in my opinion they both have these really strong parts but they also have some really weak parts that sort of bring the project down as a whole. We have songs like Antihero and The Great War that are really great and a really good example of Taylor's unique songwriting and it shows how she has a lot of self-awareness with her place in the world and how she feels as a really big public figure especially when Antihero refers to her as a quote monster on the hill and The Great War is about how she often feels like she's in a battle against being a huge public persona and also things like the paparazzi. Then we have songs like Maroon that are a bit confusing lyric-wise. They have a feel of a slow ballad, but when you listen to it, you're not really sure what she's trying to say. I feel like I've listened to the song several times and honestly, Someone tell me in the comments if they understand Maroon, but it felt like it was kind of about this sort of like daydream like night. And I was sort of searching for like what this is supposed to add to the Midnight's album, but I just was like, where is this going in the puzzle that is this project? That's not to say that Midnight's didn't have a sense of relatability. Like Guts did, it definitely did. And we definitely saw fans talk about songs like You're Losing Me. In comparison to Guts, the 
impact was not nearly as evident or visible. Even when I think about albums like The Record and Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard, I definitely enjoy them, but they didn't really hit as hard and they don't really feel like they were the defining album of that year. So while there's a lot of great nominees, I think that Guts would just be the perfect pick for album of the year at the Grammys this year. Again, this is just my opinion. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please let me know who you would pick and if you agree, disagree, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching. Bye.